Good day, folks. I am Peter Roney, and I live in Blacksburg, Virginia. Today is September 7th, 2015, and this is a big day in Blacksburg. Ohio State. Buckeyes coming to town for a football game. The title of this YouTube video is Easy YouTube Video. Not much of a phrase, but I've decided to put a freebie TM trademark symbol associated with it. And at the very end of this video, you'll ex I will explain why. I'm sorry to report to you that this summer 2015, I caught a disease. It's not a summer cold. I caught it in late July 2015. I call it YouTubeitis. Today is September 7th. I still have it. And I may not even get rid of it for uh, another month or two. What is YouTubeitis? Well, it's just an excessive preoccupation with the creation of new YouTube videos. I'm not the only one in this world who has this malady. 40 miles away, there's somebody in Floyd County that has contracted it perhaps a year or two ago. Okay, what is, whatchamacallit, whatever I've called it on the previous slide. How do you start? Well, you should have a template. And this template should be very simple. It consists of three pages. A welcome page, a title page, and a goodbye page. And um, here you have them. Now my middle title page has a light blue template, a, a rectangle behind the word template. At the time that I created this um, three-page template, I thought that all of my videos that would use this template would be in short duration, let's say a couple of seconds. Well, I was wrong because I'm now uh, revising some of my earlier long duration videos. So the only useful uh, pages on this template are the first and third. Okay, you start with a template and then you should uh, give your uh, video title in on the uh, title page. Now after the title page you create your full PowerPoint presentation. I caution you, don't make a presentation that's too long. My first original YouTube video was 54 minutes long. Ridiculous. But I was a newbie, so it's no surprise that I created such a long duration video. Well, I thought, well, how will I uh, solve it? I'll split the presentation in half. Created two 27 minute videos. They were still too long. Well, it took me days, if not a week or two, to learn my lesson. Now, I'm trying to create videos that are between 1 and 17 minutes. Now this was a huge step. I cannot underestimate how important this purchase from uh, Best Buy was. I went to a bricks and mortar store 
found uh, this $20 uh, microphone, took it home to try it out with the thought that if it wasn't very good, I would return it. But I still have it, what, a month and a half later. This is a fantastically good microphone. It is portable. Uh, what I like about it is I can um, speak to the microphone when the, the tip is, say, about a foot or foot and a half away. I also have a, a resistor, uh, I don't call it the rotating wheel, that can uh, vary the sensitivity of the microphone. I would say that because of this microphone, I have really enjoyed creating YouTube videos. The world is a, a worse place because of the microphone, because I am creating entirely too many videos. Sorry about that. Okay, you are now in your PowerPoint presentation. You go to the, you click on the first page and you are there. And now the real fun begins. You go to uh, the proper menu item and you uh, record your slideshow. So uh, let's see, oh yeah, here, the menu item is called slideshow. You click on record slideshow you click on start recording from beginning and then you get this pink uh, window and you click on start recording and off you go. You're live. Well, you will be able to uh, control the pace of your narration in the upper left hand corner there is uh, I don't know, uh, a very small window that gives you a uh, right arrow to advance to the next slide. They, there's a time that uh, you can uh, use to measure the duration of uh, your narration on single slide. And at the top right of this uh, window, there is an X when you're finished. Click on the X, and then you are returned to your PowerPoint presentation with each slide having a time in seconds associated with it. Well, you resave the uh, PowerPoint presentation with its times, and uh, when I save it, I add the two words with narration at the end of the file name. Okay, well, now the really remarkable uh, transformation occurs. I've told you, save your PowerPoint presentation first as a with narration file, and now the big step. Save your narrated PowerPoint presentation again, but save it as a WMV file, Windows Media Video. Well, depending on the duration of your uh, narration, this WMV file may take a long time to create. It may take as long as 90 minutes or more. That's a bad sign. If it takes that long, you've talked too much. Now, I follow uh, the saving process because in my window associated with a specific uh, video, I observe the WMV file size. It's initially 0 KB. I then go have lunch, have dinner, read a newspaper, read The Economist magazine, watch TV, and I wait until 
uh, the actual WMV file size is uh, present. It might take, again, as I said, 90 minutes. Okay. Let me continue. Now you have your complete Windows Media Video file. What do you do next? Well, you upload it to YouTube. And in the lower left-hand corner, I show you what you're looking for. When you go to the home page of YouTube, in the upper left, uh, upper right region, you see a little upload button. You click on that button, and then you get a uh, uh, rectangular area with this uh, uh, little symbol in the middle. Select files to upload. Well, they suggest drag and drop video files. Piece of cake. You uh, know where your WMV file is. You click, drag it, and deposit it right on this symbol. And off you go. You are now uploading your uh, video to YouTube. Thrilling. Now, I told you that it will take some time to upload, and here is an example. I've uploaded only 3%, and I have 57 minutes remaining. I say, lunchtime. So, uh, actually, rather than going to lunch, I have uh, created a group of screen pap captures to uh, show you the uploading process. So, we start at the top with 3%, 57 minutes. Then uh, we go to 14%, 23%, 32%, 50%, and now with more detail, here is uploading 59, 70, 96 percent. No, 59, 70, 96 percent. And you see the relationship between the uploading percentage and how many minutes are remaining. When you fully upload your video, then uh, processing starts and it goes quickly. So, uh, once you've fully uploaded, you're uh, off and running. You're really ready to go. But be careful. Don't click the publish uh, blue uh, button just yet. Patience. Before you publish, you need a description. You also need to create some tags. And what's the easiest way to do this? Well, while your uh, WM file is uploaded, you open up Word and you uh, create, you write, you type a description. And uh, at the bottom, you type in uh, the keywords that you want to uh, use. Now I have a keyword template as a separate docx file and when I uh, just below my description I copy and paste a group of oh I'd say eight or nine keywords to the bottom of my description word file. So I do that uh, before I publish or even before I upload my WMV uh, video file. So, while your video is uploading, you uh, copy and paste your description, you copy and paste your tags, and then you uh, w wait for the 
video to be fully uploaded and fully processed and then you are ready to publish. So you click on publish and immediately you get the following window. That window contains the URL for your specific YouTube uh, presentation. Also it contains on the left the thumbnail uh, that YouTube will associate with this particular video. So what do I do next? First I copy this uh, URL into uh, a document, uh, a Word docx file that contains the URLs of all of my uh, successful videos. And then I use a screen capture tool to capture this uh, window and I save it. So here I have uh, all the information I need. I have a URL and an image. What do I do next? Well, I've captured this window. I print it on a uh, normal printer. Okay? So this is a good sign. Well, you have uh, now copied your YouTube video and pasted into uh, a Word doc docx file containing a whole bunch of URLs. But before you proceed f uh, further, listen to your YouTube video. Well, I guarantee you my uh, videos are not uh, something to write home to mom about. I cough. <laughs> I forget. Uh, what I'm trying to say in mid-sentence, and they're, uh, they're not polished. Well, I've been a technical author for a long time, starting with when I uh, wrote Bug Books 1 and 2 uh, during summer 1974. And I guarantee you, my first version wasn't perfect. I uh, typed a page and uh, looked over it. If I didn't like it, I tore it up, threw it away. So I am not a perfectionist. And if you listen to my videos, you will quickly grasp that fact. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. If my video isn't terrible, I'll leave it alone. But if I'm displeased with, displeased with the video, I will uh, create a new version, upload it, and remove the previous version. So cool it, you know. Don't be a perfectionist. I promised you at the beginning of this video that I would talk about the TM symbol. Well, I also have had a disease. I've had it since... I uh, graduated from the university in 1965. I call it TMitis. I use the TM symbol all the time, especially during uh, my process of creating these videos because I'm creating unique symbols. Well, let me explain. It costs you nothing to place the TM symbol in the upper right hand corner of uh, a phrase, a word, or an image. Why do you do so? Because you believe that you may have a unique word or phrase or symbol. A trademark is a form of intellectual property, which is big stuff. The TM symbol 
is rather modest. It informs others, hey folks, this is my creative and unique phrase. Stay away from it. I'm using it already in interstate commerce. Well, the TM uh, symbol is not much, but if you really want to get serious, uh, pay a thousand dollars to LegalZoom and get the registered trademark symbol shown at the bottom, the letter capital R with a circle around it. Now, that is not just a subtle warning. The R symbol tells you, you use my trademark and you are in big legal trouble. So when you look at uh, cereal boxes, products, anywhere, look for the TM or the R, circle R symbols. TM is a warning, R is uh, a legal uh, clobber, potentially clobbering uh, of you if you uh, violate the trademark. And that's all. This is not a short duration video, but I hope that you found uh, it interesting. I am creating what I call an abundance of YouTube videos using this uh, easy YouTube video approach. Sort of fun. And I remind you with this uh, green circle and first page of the Constitution that I am now engaged in political uh, speech. This political speech is protected by the United States Constitution. Good day.